announcements. Super simple. We are going to be doing this class on Tuesdays and Thursdays from now on. There will always be a Sunday class. Always Sunday class. When the Y starts up again, I don't know when, but when the Y starts up again, I'll be teaching hopefully Wednesdays and Sundays in the water. And then we'll have Tuesdays, Thursdays, and maybe Saturday mornings for a 90 minute extended class with meditations and full woo woo. I want to point out my beautiful divider over here. Notice this? My grandson's going to come by, and this is social distancing. Yaya is in the playpen. Kids are out there, and I am here. Barricades for Yaya. Okay. <laughs> It goes all the way around here. It's like a little playpen. All right, mute yourselves and we're going to start. First, we're going to plant our feet, bring the shoulders up to the neck, close your eyes, take a breath in, roll your shoulders slowly back and then extend down. Look down. And when you look down, push your hands out like this. Look down. And then look up. Chin high. Look down. Bring your hands to the front and wave your hands back and forth. Like this. All the while looking down with your neck to your chest. Now look up slowly and we're going to swirl our hands around like this. Alternating fingers, stretching the knuckles, sit up. Now, roll your head around in a circle. Around slowly, you might hear snap, crackle, and pop. That is the cervical headrest, the cushions, the skull, opening up and allowing padding. If you imagine the spine is like a pencil, your head is like a bowling ball on top of it, you'll see the value in this rolling of the head here. Uh, we're going to do a pecking chicken. I just that. Nancy and Ed, you got to mute. This. And now, and now, and now, and now, and now. All right, nice. Shoulders up, back and around. Now look, hands like this. Peel your hands up. Close your hands to the top. Palms touch. Elbows do funky chicken style. And then up. Roll your hands back. Swing your arms down. Inhale. Exhale, look down, inhale up. Very tippy top, and then change hands, exhale down. 3rd times the charm, hands up. Hands all the way up, reverse your hands, come down. With your hands back behind you, your chest is going to fall forward, bobbing for apples, virtual apples. Each time you do this, try not to lock your knees, but allow a stretch behind your kneecap. Push your arms back a little farther. Slide your shoulder blades in toward the center. Anything is better than nothing. Now we're going to bend, same knee, same hand. This is a modification of the um, legally blonde bend and snap. Bend and snap. Other side, bend your knee, reach out, hand behind, knee is same knee, same hand. And as you do this, lean into it so you get a little booty stretch. And then come up and reach out. We're going to cross over. 
basically sweeping across for a little bit of a torso twist. Knee is bent. Your feet never change positions. It's like you got magic shoes that are glued to the mat. Come down. Reach out again the other side. Beautiful stretch up the hamstrings to the gluteus. Twist across. I always try to touch the wall behind me. And back. Now with your feet nice and wide, we're gonna start with our first squat of the day and a little object lesson. I got my tape measure out and I measured my mat. This mat, is exactly six foot long. This is your distance rule right here. Doesn't seem like very much to me. And yet people complain. Down, up, knees down all the way down. Reach your hands out. Your butt is down, your knees are wide, your arms are forward, and you're sticking your butt out as far as you can, opening up the hip sockets and praising God, there's no one behind you checking out your butt. Put your hand down, roll up, extend your legs, go to the side, and center, side, center, stretch the back of your thighs, side, touch down as far as you can, anything is better than nothing. Roll up. As you roll up, crush your shoulders up into your earlobes and then totally shh. Now, point your feet parallel this way, straight forward. And we're gonna go side to side. Side to side. Sliding your hand down the seam of your leg. Each time you reach a little farther. Keep your body a little flatter, pull your belly in. And even if it doesn't go in, pretend it goes in. The commands that you give your body cause electronic, electric synapses from your nerve endings to your muscles. And the commands are being received. And the ability to obey them gets better with repetition. So the more you try, the better the body responds. Even if it doesn't seem like much to you, I always say this, anything is better than nothing. Now take your fingers to your belly, squish it in, squish that thing, swing it around. And forward. Push your fingers hard into your, your food baby, no matter how squishy, underneath that is a beautiful level and layer core muscles. They're wonderful and they're in there. Swing around the other way. Beautiful circle. This is for your pelvic bones. Maybe you can get fancy and do a figure eight. This is a lazy hula 101. It's basically a swirl. Now you're gonna bend a knee. You're gonna do the heel thing. I do this every single time I do yoga because my heel hurts. I don't know why, who knows, bad shoes. Anyway, touch the foot, come up, straighten all the way up, touch the foot, come up, straighten up again, touch the foot, maybe you touch the arch of the foot, the outer, up, change foot, other side, heel down, toe up, there's your toe, and up, and there's your toe, and up, and there's your toe, maybe you touch your arch, the other side of your foot, other, whatever, and up. Feet stay nice and wide, tap your heels, find your balance, tip your pelvis forward. We're gonna go down, Slowly and up, slowly. You go down, slowly and up, all the while tapping. 
Again, you're gonna to lean to one side. This time you're gonna sweep across, behind and back, behind and back, behind and back. Try the other side. Sweep, forward. Again, if this is a challenge, there's nothing to stop you from hanging onto a chair. The trick here is not balance. The trick here is stretching that toe up, heel down, back of the leg. The arm thing forces some balance adjustments. Okay to use a chair. So we're gonna go from that to some lunges. We're gonna do the hands on the chair lunge, or you can do it this way. Take a breath, push that heel all the way down. These lunges are actually heel work. And then release up. And then push that heel down slowly, invite it to the floor. And up. One more time, heel down slowly, allowing it to spread down using your body weight and intention. Now change sides, let's do the other side. Heel down and then up. You may feel this in your calf muscle. You may feel it in your Achilles tendon. You may feel it along the bottom of your foot. Gently invite the foot. Now, Switching gears, we're gonna go long like this. This is a variation on supported lunge. Your front knee is bent. Your back leg is pointed behind you, all right? You're gonna raise your heel and then lean back as far as you can. You'll notice it doesn't wanna go. Maybe if you lean back like this, it goes all the way back down. Beautiful triangular shape. Bend your knee forward, lean into it. Allow your body to sink, look up. And then push back with your chair slowly with intention. You wanna get fancy with it, you could raise your toe. Nice stretch there. Change sides. Heel down. I do this um, stretch every time I go to an airport. I have a layover. I'm gonna be doing this in some obscure corner of the airport using those chairs. Now my heel's down, I'm leaning back, my toe comes up. You wanna sneak up on that. Heel forward, arch your back, look up. Beautiful modification, nice stretch in the lower pelvis. Lean back, heel down, toe up. Nice, beautiful stretch. And recover, bring your foot in. Get a firm grip on your chair. Your chair is your friend. Put your one leg up. I'm gonna do it to the front so you can see the knee bend. This is important. And right, there's your chair. There's your foot. Your foot is slightly to the side, I would say 45 degrees. First. Let's just get into that position. Sometimes you can just step up and it's easy. Sometimes you gotta grab a hold of the thing and step yourself up. Every day it's different. Now, like this, full Captain Morgan, we're gonna lean forward. And as we do, there's gonna be a moment when it's tight in your hip. This is where you push past that tightness, lean into it slowly, and open it up in your mind, it just melts away. And then up. Let's change sides. Again, notice how the knee is exaggerated to the side, all right? We're gonna lean forward, 
This is a chair variation on pigeon pose. Come on down as far as you can. Open out those thighs, open out the butt, open out the hamstrings, open out those big tendons down there. And up, change sides again. And this time we're gonna take our hand, touch the knee on the outside, opposite hand to opposite knee. And then you're gonna pull your body a little bit. Beautiful twist. We do this on the floor sometimes. But you're just taking your hand, pulling the knee, and pushing your boobs that way. <laughs> and other side. Foot up. The whole idea is to square your torso and your shoulders that way. So opposite hand, opposite knee. And then pull and twist. Sometimes it helps to have the back hand reach out behind you. Delicious stretch. All right, and then back to the center. All right, now we're going to push our feet back. You're going to flatten your heels down. See that? Heels down, arms up. This is a wide downward dog. Longer than usual. Not so tight an angle. Now you're going to bring your pelvis forward and you're going to look up. This is upward facing dog with assist. Now bring one knee to the front and back. Heel down. Bring one knee to the front and back. Heel down. Look up again. Look up. And then push back with your butt. Step one foot forward, step the other foot forward. Lean into it back, push your hands, push your torso so your body goes back a little bit further. This is another modified downward dog. Release, hands hang down. And you're gonna roll up. Very, very good. That whole sequence of lunges was, was all about calves, ankles, tight hamstrings, because we're going to do some interesting things today. Okay, so foot, foot, keep them on one linear plane. We're going to go into the, the, the triangle sequence. Sweep your arms out, make your body into a T, and then you're going to lean your hips. And as soon as your hip is at the furthest point of leaning, you're going to fall down with your hands, spiraling like a pinwheel. Other hand goes up higher than you think, to be as vertical as possible. Now reach up, arm comes out, you change your foot, you change the other foot, arms out. Now hip and spiral down, hand up. Beautiful stretch in the rib cage to push your hand behind your body for a different stretch. Another rib cage stretcher for the obliques. Up, arm comes out, change your foot. Now we're gonna bend our knee, okay? Arms are parallel. Bend your knee. And it's hip and down. Try it that way. We'll do it a different way the third time. Up. We're gonna bend our knee first this time, and then hip, and then down. Reach as high as you can, and then up. Then we'll do it the traditional way: foot, heel down, toe up, hip first, foot down. Knee, 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 then down. I think that's better for your body myself. But it's up to you. Hand up, reach up, and out. Parallel arms, change your feet. All right. Hip, foot, knee, 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 and down we go. Deep, sink. 
far as you can, see how far your hand can go down, see how high the other hand can go up, and then recover. Open out those arms. The last one is gonna be the crossover technique. So it's gonna be hip, foot, heel down, toe up, hip, then foot, then knee, and we're gonna swing our hands across, putting the hand, opposite hand to the outside of the knee, other arm on the flat of the back, and you're gonna bow down. Beautiful, other side. Change feet, heel down, toe up, arms out, hip, foot, knee, 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 sweep over, hand to the small of your back, belly swings down, exhale, and release up. Now with your chair, With your knees as wide as you can, sit on the edge of your chair. Like that. I want you to reach over and touch the side of your ankle and reach down and hit the other side of your ankle with your knees bent. Reach down and get that thing you dropped. Whatever that thing is. Open your knees wide, pivot the hip, pivot the hip. Notice how the shoulders stay front. Pivot the hip, pivot the hip, pivot the hip, pivot the hip. Open your legs super wide like that. Grab a hold of your chair behind you. Stick your chest up, legs wide, arched back. This is a modification of fish pose. Like a flopping fish on the beach. And then reach. Touch the back of your knee, reach over, touch the back of your knee, reach over, touch the way back of your knee here, reach over and touch the back of your knee. Now take a hold of your hands on your chair, tap, 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 tap your feet to the center and raise your feet off the floor. Now I'm going to show you sideways how I'm managing this. My back is on the back of the chair. My hands are way back. My legs are like this. This is modified boat pose. In the pool, the water floats us, makes it easy. After I did this on land, I realized, oh, that's a hard move, man. But you hang on like this, you can sneak your body up on it. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Out and in, legs up, legs down, legs up, legs down, legs up, legs down, feet down, slide your hands along your legs, engage your core, and roll forward. Hands on your knees, butt up. You're gonna arch your back up and swing it down. And you're gonna arch your back up. And swing it down. All in the name of chair pose. Awesome. We're gonna go from triangle to tree. Tree always starts with mountain, your hands you have to get into it. First, your neck is long. Your shoulders come up, back, and around. The girls are front and center. Hands are like this. And then you squeeze your butt cheeks so tight. So tight that there was a $100 bill between your butt cheeks. You'd squeeze it so tight that it would make an origami paper crane. That's how tight. And then release. Up on your toe and down, waking up those arches and back to tree. 
up on your toes. We're gonna to count to 10. One, on your toes. Two, three, squeeze your butt. Four, five, six, clench it. Seven, eight, nine, and release. So many good reasons to do that. <laughs> Most of them X-rated, but hey, knee to the side. Shoulders down, find your balance, sink into your hips, spread your toes, whatever it takes to get your balance. I have my chair to reassure me. My hands come up and I'm gonna go up, two, back, three, four, fingers together, five, six, seven, breathe, hands together, teardrop shape overhead, balance adjust, whatever, birdies kiss, Lie away. Now bring your knee up to the front and tick tock. Kick your leg out, kick your leg in, kick your leg out, kick your leg in, kick your leg out, kick your leg in. Beautifully done. And then you're going to kick forward and back. Now you'll notice I'm really depending on my chair today, and that's okay. Raise your legs, point, flex, point, Flex, point, flex, higher, and then down. Nicely done. Knee to the other side. Stand tall, square the chest. Breathe, raise up, two, three, four, five, six, breathing, seven, Eight, the hands approach each other, the fingertips touch, palms flatten, elbows stick out, chest is high. And then birdies say, Wee. Knee comes up, tick tock. Allow your knee to swing freely. Allow your shoulders to relax into the moon, move. And then we're going to kick forward. I see you, little birdie. <laughs> kick your leg back. High point, flex. Point, flex. You can touch your chair. Point, flex. You can show off and try to touch the floor. Point, flex. And recover. Let's do it again. This time with feeling, up, bend the knee, belly in, up, two, three, fingers will touch, soon, here they go, teardrop, funky chicken elbows, birdies kiss, fly away, birdies think that's really funny in my yard, knees up, I got some birds sitting right over there looking at me. Around you go, reverse the other way. You should feel this right around here. If it hurts, don't do it, of course. Now you're gonna kick out and kick all the way back, as much as you want. And you're gonna bend your foot and kick the ceiling out. Kick, kickity, kick, kick higher, higher, and higher. Extend and come down. Other side. Breathe. Hands up. Two, three, four, five, six. Hands about to touch. Elbows big. Nice job. Birdies kiss. Whee! And then again with the can can girl thing. Stir the pot. Allow your hip socket, femur, and knee to gently work in teams. Stir the pot. Now you're going to kick out and back. And bend your foot. Now, here's what we're going to, I'm going to show you fun with bricks. You put the brick down like that, put your hand on the brick. Yay! Kick, 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 
Kick, kickity, kickity, kick, 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 and recover. Fingers into hips, roll it. Fingers into hips, roll it. We're gonna stand like this and raise only one hip. Kind of like a Bob Fosse number. Up. Other side. If you get a stiff or a catch in your hip, this is a good way to undo it. Now, last one of our tree poses is the ankle cross on shin. It's like a number four. This changes my balance point sometimes. Raise your hand up, two, three wide fingers, four, five, six, jazz hands, jazz hands, seven, eight fingers touch, push-ups, 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 elbows wide, swing the thumb forward, swing it on back, swing the forward, swing it back and go, whee! <laughs> Now take your leg and swing it around and back. I'm going to show you an exaggerated maneuver on this one. The only important thing about this pose is the lean back. The front leg is just pointing and hanging out. The back leg is seriously leaning back. Beautiful stretch in the inner thigh. And release. Same thing, right in the middle of that last tree pose, two birds dive bombed. <laughs> no, I'm not a real TV tree. I only play one on Zoom. All right, here we go. Up, two, three, four, five, six, big fingers, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups on a mirror, push ups on a mirror. Thumb forward, beautiful stretch. The fingers remain touching and back. Push all the way forward and back and we. You take this leg and you do this thing again. Put forward, put back. It's a sideways split with a back bend. You can tell people that's what you're doing. A crazy woman made us do a sideways split with a back bend. Oh my God, lean back. Stretch into it and release. Now, take your foot, cross over and back. This returns circulation into your lower extremities. It opens out juicy hipness. Kick it back to the 45 degrees behind you, swinging it like a croquet mallet. When you wake up in the morning, this little thing I'm doing, this is a great way to start the day. You've been laying down all night, you've been sleeping, you might have circulation issues. This gets things pumping. Now go to the 45 behind you. Nice and easy, nothing to prove here. Back and front, back front. Spectacular. Now, because today is Mother's Day, we're going to um, do a little goddess for all the mothers. Even if you aren't a mother, you probably had one. So if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be here. So let's assume they're all goddesses in their own right. Now, feet to the side. Up and down, we already stretched this open so you know what comes next. The goal here is to get down as low as you can so you look like a carving on the temple. Raise your hands up, tap your heels. Fingers are about to point into mudra one. Elbows wide, mudra one, higher mind. Mudra two, clear sight. Mudra he, three, hear only good. Mudra four, speak only positive. 
Buddha, five, acceptance, six, gratitude, and seven, no, you don't. And then sweep, extend your arm, release all unnecessary burdens. Let it go. Let it go. And let me do it again. Find your base, tap, tap, down we go. Think in your mind what you want. Hands go up. Make a wish to start your day. Acknowledge your parents. Say a prayer for all those who helped you. Speak only well of those who haven't. Accept help, return the favor, let go of negativity, sweep, and sweep, sweep, stretch out, and sweep. Last one, get lower, up we go, we'll do this one silently. down. Tap your hands over to one side. Center, center, other side, center, center, side, center, center, side, center, center, roll up. Nice shoulder roll. Point your toes in, step in a tad to an exaggerated pigeon toed stance. Look down at your feet while you get them in position and then slowly edge your way up. Stand tall and see if you can do this. Very small tendon twist. If it hurts, don't do it. But it's very nice for um, assisting with rotation and hip rotation and balance issues. All right, now we've gone from goddess to warrior. Step wider, you'll notice my foot's over by the edge of the mat and the other one's in the middle of the mat. Pivot your body, bend that knee, raise your hand up, lean into it. Elbows come strongly down. Push up, elbows come strongly down. And you raise your hands up to heaven and you open your arms in a beautiful parallel to the floor, look front, turn your head, look back, take an invisible arrow, put it in the bow, shoot the bow, put your hand in your back pocket with amazement, flatten your palm to the sky, the stretch should be there. And then lean forward slowly, wrist to knee, hand up, extended overhead, palm up. Bend that knee. Nice work. And recover. Foot in the middle, other foot toward the edge. Pivot your body. Bend that knee to feel stretch here and no pain here. No pain, no pain. Sweep, raise your hand up, look to the sky, pull your elbows down. Reach for the sky, pull those elbows down. Reach for the sky, look front, look back, take the invisible arrow, put it in your bow, Bing. put your hand in your back pocket, arch, your hand can be this way, or your hand can be that way, whatever works for you. And then come forward, sweeping down. Again, ballerina arch over or flat 
to the sky. Lean into it if you can. Let's do that again. First time is always for practice. After that, we're, we're serious now. All right, sweep, bend your knee, come up. Lean back more than you did last time. Elbows down, up, elbows down, up, look front, look back, shoot, bing, arms up and over. And come forward, sweeping down as far as you can, wrist and over. Now in the pool, a lot of people need help for this one. Raise their back leg. As you can see, I cannot do that. But you can try. <laughs> I need the water for that one. Get in the other position. I'm going to move this chair to see if I can achieve that. Okay. All right. Spiral. Raise your hand up. Lean back. Look at the sky long arms. Pull your elbows down. Raise your hands up. Pull your elbows down. Raise your hands up. Look forward. Pivot your head. Look back. Take a arrow. Shoot. Bing. Put your hand in your back pocket. Be astounded, amazed, and in awe of the stretch. And then come forward. Wrist to knee, hand over head. Oh, my leg doesn't want to do that. Okay, bye. Why oh, fight with nature? And up. Last one. Widen your stance slightly. Spiral. Lean back that foot. Bend this knee. Up we go. Pull down. Lean and come up, pull down, lean and then up. Look front, look back, arrow, bing. Arm overhead, beautiful stretch. Forward we roll, wrist to knee, hand overhead, bend into it. Last one on this side, beautiful sequences, spiral. Sweep up, look at the sky, bigger stretch in your front thigh, pull your elbows down, come up, pull your elbows down, come up, open it out like a flower, look front, look back, last arrow you shoot, shoot, bing, hand in the back pocket, relax, and forward we go. Wrist to knee, hand over head. Arch your back. And recover. Putting your chair into position. We're going to repeat a couple of the things we did before, only because it's a good idea. Hands down like this. Lean back, let your elbows bend. This seems like a small thing. You should feel a stretch on the back of both your knees. Push up. Come up on your toes, come down, push back. Allow your butt to extend and your knees to stretch. And up, now put one foot behind you. Hands on the chair. Lean back, stretch as much as you can. If you don't want to use the chair, you can just touch your toes. Other side. Heel down, nice big stretch. Allow your foot to come up here. And recover. Now, we're going to work on our sun salutations. Find your stance. All right. 
Raise your hands up. You salute the sun. These are all components of moves we've done before. And then you open your arms like this and you bend forward with palms up behind you, chin extended. As far as you can. Now we haven't done this in a while, but I want you to reach across as far as you can. We did this earlier in class, but not in reference to the sun salutation and all the way across. And then come to center, hands on knees. You go into chair pose, belly. And you raise your hand up like that. And you come down and you roll up and hands to knees. You stick your chin up. Hold that pose. Sliding your hands down your leg for reassurance. You come all the way down to the floor. Always a challenge. Some people like to go to here. This is how we'll do it today. Hands on all fours. Knees a little wider than hip distance. Arch your back up. Arch your back down. All incorporated into um, sun salutation and up. And down, raise one leg. I'm gonna cheat and put it on the chair. Extend the arm. If you're not feeling steady, use the chair for your foot. No one keeps score in yoga. Change sides. Knee down, stabilize, extend the back leg, extend the front arm, hold it, balancing, 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 and then center. Now, if you want, open your knees and come down into child's pose. Elbows can be on the mat. I've seen people do child's pose like this. I've seen people do child's pose like this. Whole idea is your forehead's to the floor, your butt's in the air, belly's hanging between it all, and you're resting. Now walk up, you're awakened, hands below shoulders, roll the toes, and push your ass up to the sky. Heel down. This is why we did that heel stretch earlier. This is downward dog. You want to get fancy, you can do downward dog with your leg up. And recover. Downward dog with your leg up. And recover. Walk your feet forward. Squat into it. Roll up. Shoulders up and around. That was a beautiful slow-mo standing sun salutation. I've been doing it very slowly because I want you to get an idea of the moves. This time we're gonna do it a little quicker, breath by breath, okay? Are you ready? Inhale up. Exhale down. Then forward. Into chair. Into hands on knees. Chin out, knees down. The side, the side. Child's pose, three breaths. Walk back, heels down, push into it, step forward, bend your knees, roll up. Good 
purpose of sun salutation is to have a breath per move, all right? Now we're gonna do um, standing sun salutation. When we get to the floor, we're gonna do the floor variation, the kneeling sun salutation. So let's start with all praise the glorious sun. I am so humble before your glory. I bow to your fabulousness. My hands on my knees, I bow further and down. Knees to the floor. Always good to do the cat and cow. Never hurts anybody. And then you stand up or kneel up, I should say. Hands go behind you and up. Then they come down. Then you come forward as far as you can. Hands can come down. Open knees. Child's pose, lean into it, lean into it, lean into it, lean into it, lean into it. Stand up, take one foot, bring it forward. Both hands on the knee. Lean back. All the way down. Change sides. Walk your hands over. Knee forward, walk your hands up. Stretch those quads. And come down. Into child's pose, a modified child's pose. I like to rock back and forth to get my hips opened. Walk out. We're going to go down into upward dog. There you go. Now, if my toes, my knees are off the ground, that's perfect upward dog. If my knees are down, it's like cobra pose. If my elbows are down, it's sphinx pose. Whatever works for you. Roll to your side. Find yourself in one long line, and you're going to touch your foot to the front, and right here, touch to the front and the back, bring it to the front, and kick it more forward than you normally would have. Now, bend your knee, grab your ankle, if you can, and raise the other leg up, off the ground, count. One, two, three, four, five. Swing your legs over the other way. Hope you can see me. Kick forward, kick back, kick forward, kick back, kick forward, kick back. Bring your knee forward like this. Grab your ankles, bend that knee and raise that foot maybe a quarter inch off the bottom of the thing. Quarter inch. And release. Now, we're gonna go slowly down with our knees bent. Knees are bent. Can you see me? I hope so, I can't see me. Come down, come down, come down. The chair is there, you can grab a hold of it, raise one leg up, pull it down. Raise one leg up, pull it slowly down. Raise one leg up, and replace. Other leg, extend it long, raise it up, down, Raise it up and down. Raise it up and down. Now, if you have a pillow or one of these handy little bricks here, you can help yourself do this. I want you to put your hands flat on the mat and I want you to push your pelvis to the sky like that. Maybe this is high as you can get it by yourself. You can take a brick and put it under your but, 
and just rest on it. I realize this looks uncomfortable. It is so nice on my back. I can't even tell you. I love this. Rest and relax, raise one leg up. Now you look like a poster for yoga. And down. Other leg up and down. You can raise your hands over your head if that works for you. But all the while, your pelvis is higher than your head and your circulation is benefiting. Raise your hips up slightly, remove the brick, come down, press your spine into the mat, arms out to the side, bring your knees up. And you're going to draw a circle with your knees in the air. You'll notice that all different points of your pelvis and your butt are rolling too. Go the other way. Now, we're gonna take both knees and roll to the side. Your arms are flat on the ground. Your knees are bent and you're relaxing into it. Breathe. Bring your knee up, twist it to the other side, all the way down, rest, rest, rest. And then bring it to the center, a slight variation. You're gonna extend this leg, you're gonna raise this leg and you're gonna flop it over. Now you'll notice this leg of mine does not wanna to go to the floor. It has trust issues. And it goes. And up. Change legs. And over it goes. I'm going to touch the wall here. That's all right. And then release. If it's possible for you, I want you to reach down and grab one ankle. Reach down and grab the other ankle. And tap your feet together, opening up your hips. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, foot up, foot down, heel and toe. Pull your ankles toward your pelvis bone and the big knee stretch. And then release. Raise your hands and your legs up. If you can, grab your feet and open up. Hello! If you can, don't worry about it. Feet together, bring them down to the floor. Feet together, arms akimbo here, knees wide. Bounce, 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 bounce those knees. Bounce it open. So with the right pillow structure, this becomes queen pose for regular folks. It is just a very relaxing experience. Breathe. Put your feet down, straight. Let your feet just flop. Let your knees stretch. Close your eyes. Inhale, one big breath in. And let it all go. Inhale, one big beautiful breath in. And let it go. Let your shoulders melt. Let your arms melt. And think about all the good things you ever did as a mom. Think about the happy moments, the happy smells you gave them, the funny stories they'll tell. Think about how sweet those kids were when they were first brand new. That's why humans are born as babies, because if they were born as teenagers, there'd be no human beings on the planet. Slowly roll to the side. Recover up into a nice, gentle sitting position. Again, if you're it's able to it's available to you, put your feet together. And look down and look up. Chin high. Look down and look up. 
Look to the left, to the right, whatever. Look to the other side. Now we're gonna roll over. And gently get ourselves up to a standing position. I always like to go to the downward dog and then walk into it. And roll up, shoulders crunching as high as you can. Rotate your shoulders, look down, look up. We're gonna raise our hands up to heaven. And we're gonna release down and look down. Inhale up. And then exhale. Shh. Inhale up. The last one's a beautiful ohm. Inhale up. Exhale ohm. Oh. The divine light in me is a reflection of the brightness and joy that comes from you every time I see you. Namaste. Happy Mother's Day to your mothers, to you mothers, and to all the mothers that you ever knew. I'm so glad you came. Please drink some water. Any questions, concerns, issues? Unmute. I suppose I could unmute if I was nice. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm So just to review my beloveds, next week, it's Tuesday and Thursday at six o'clock. Sundays as usual, noon. And I'm gonna keep <coughs> Tuesday, Thursday schedule because I wanna keep Tuesdays and Thursdays always. When I start teaching at the Y on Wednesday nights, it'd be lovely to have a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday stretch of yoga every day. And I'm sneaking up on it because I'm not in that great of shape myself. I've been lazy. I bake cookies. <laughs> no, but there, wait, there are, do you ever see that the recipe on, on the chocolate chip thing? There's three dozen cookies, yo. There's two people in my house. Who do you think ate cookies? Ate cookies. Yeah. It was worth it. They were fabulous. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, please try some of these. Mm -hmm. Try some of these on your own, please. Like, for example, the getting out of bed and stand up and do those little leg things. Little tiny things. All that chair stuff. When you get bored and you're watching something on TV, do the stretch. The worst thing that can happen is you'll feel better. <laughs> all right. I love you all. Have a great Mother's Day, and I'll see you on Tuesday. I'll send the invitation. See you then. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank Happy Mother's Day. Day, you beautiful Happy people. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, happy Mother's Day, everybody. Cheers. Hey, Wendy. Look how cute you all are. You're so cute. <laughs>